welcome, welcome everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Having a pretty darn good one myself. We got a few things going on today. Don't really have any real plans on what we're going to do, but uh, there are some things I want to do, so we're going to try to get them into them, you know. But anyways, I thought I'd share a real quick tip I'd uh, come up with and uh, some something I've learned. One, if you watched yesterday, you know we went to explore the... Uh, I'm trying to get into the 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 deep blue area over there, the the lower levels, and it was an absolute nightmare. Like, <laughs> and I actually did go down in there, and um, yeah, boy, we got some stuff over there. But before we go any do anything at all, I want to show y'all. So, first off, somewhere is right here. Let me find right there's a pearl. Okay, little trick I've discovered, and uh, using the glider, which by the way, something I have learned that I do want to share before we even do this. This glider right here removes armor durability as you use it. And the reason I discovered this is because I got all the way out there on the very edge of the uh, the lower level and kind of got killed and had to get back and decided, oh, I'll just glide out there. No, I glided about halfway. Next thing I know, I was falling through this guy at warp speeds and hit the ground and went splat. <laughs> so yes, it uses durability quite heavy, but I've discovered something really nice about this glider. Say you want to get down in the water deep. You go in there and hit shift. And ta-da, we are at the bottom of the water. <laughs> like, it is that quick. Like, it does not take nothing to get deep into the water real quick. Like, super simple. Which is really nice because, you know, there are some areas where you do need to get down in the water. In particular, when you're looking for pearls, like right now. Let's see. Aha, there's a pearl. I'm trying to get me up some as much resources as I can because we're getting ready to move into that next level. I've just unlocked the um, uh, the hazard suit, so we're going to need to be able to progress, and I'm going to be able to need to make um, polymer and. Uh, 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 electronics and stuff as we go, you know. So I figured, you know, we'd come down here and get me some pearls. And while I was thinking about it, I wanted to show you all that. And uh, we're going to do this one more time. We're going to try to make it work. It's a little tricky to pull off. What you do is you hit shift and it dive bombs toward the ground. And I really wish they'd add a um, a durability thing because it, when it breaks, you literally you have no warning. It just breaks. Well, that time it didn't work for some reason. I don't think I hit the right button. I think my pinky malfunctioned on me. But oh well. Y'all get the gist. And, uh, I know there's some more pearls here somewhere. There should be like one or two more. But anyways. I love that this water's now safe for the most part. There is nothing here that we have to worry about, which is fantastic. Before, there were sarcos and piranhas and all kinds of crazy stuff. But there's some more stuff I want to show y'all while we're here. And that is, uh, I want to take a look at the fish uh, trap. I have no idea how this thing works. Um, I think it's funny that apparently we contain coal and piranhas and stuff now from what I understand. Which is really silly, but you know, <laughs> whatever. If we could just have us some pools of water on uh, the center, that's really cool. But pretty much everywhere else, that's basically useless. <laughs> you know, because on the center you got them little pools of water everywhere at those little base locations. But, uh, I got a couple... I brought with me and uh, I thought we'd check these out real quick because there's lots and lots of fish down here there's also if you're looking for an otter this is a good spot to find them apparently and I've never seen this the otters stay at the bottom of the water like check this out look there's an otter there there's one there, there there's one there there's one there uh, <laughs> there was one over here like what so if you want an otter, this is a great place to come and get them. Because look at the fish. Oh my god, there's fish everywhere. But, uh, oh, I'd really like to tame that fish right there. All right, let's see if we can do this. So, I'm not quite sure how we use... Oh, 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 swim, 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 swim. I forget we can't breathe underwater. I'm not a fish. Okay, here we go. I'd love to catch that blackfish. That thing was cool. Oh, earthquake. Come here. All right, so... I understand we just put this thing down. Whoa, what was that? Wow, earthquakes underwater are are crazy. Jeez. Above ground you thought they were bad. Underwater, goodness gracious. Okay, I guess that's gonna have to wait. <laughs> I can't do anything while we're having an earthquake underwater. 
Oh, let me out of the water. Let me out of the water. Good grief. Are you done? Come on. Come on. That's nice. You shake. It looks really crazy up there. Can't wait to get up there. In a way, I don't want to, because apparently, from what I understand, going up there is not safe. It's kind of funny. You get this this fungus mushroom forest, and it's all happy, safe world where it's just still not safe. But then you go down, and it's apparently it's a nightmare. The deeper you get, the worse it gets. And you go up, the worse it gets there. <laughs> so yeah. All right, come on, stop, Earthquake. Thank you. I'm trying to do stuff here. Where's my cage at? It's here somewhere. All right. As I was saying, from what I understand, basically. You put this thing down, and there you go. It says eventually it comes up. Let's see. Let's. I want the level fifteen oh nine or let's. See. Oh, gotta get oxygen. Go and drown. Go and drown. Go and drown. Oh. Okay. I don't think it really matters. I was wanting to tame some. Oh, that's perfect right there. Oh, five, level five. Aha! So okay, from what I'm saying. Basically, I just tamed a fish. I don't know if this is true or not. And when we put it down, and you seen it was changing what was on there. So, from what I understand, is now basically in my inventory, once we're looking out of the water, because you know, in my inventory, I now have a fish basket. From what I was told and reading. Okay, yeah, so okay. So, it is in it, it actually shows a fish on the icon. That's pretty cool. It says, an aberrant colithiath, which, by the way, is a real fish. They still exist. They were thought dead. They are what's called a living fossil. Really cool information there. Level five and point eight. It's not a big fish. I mean, it's our first fish. We don't we don't necessarily need a big fish. But because it is our first fish, we're going to go over here. Actually, no, we're going to stay right here. We're going to keep it right here next to the zipline so we come down and visit it. Because you know why not? <laughs> so okay, we want to get in the water, and basically we want to release. And now that destroys the fish thing, or the fish trap, I think. Yeah, I only got two left. But check it out, y'all. Tamed a fish. What the fuck? He's even a cool looking fish, but yeah, tamed a fish. Like, what? <laughs> what does it eat? <laughs> does it need special food? Do I, like, do I put fish in it? Do I put meat in it? Do I put berries? Like, what? Look, it's even got a costume and a set. It's got a saddle slot. Oh. Uh... I, I can just now see taming a very large coal and riding it around and being, I don't know, kind of silly. Maybe a piranha or salmon? Salmon, maybe. Well, there we go. I don't know. What does it eat? I guess we'll put some meat on it. <laughs> and I, 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 I guess I'll go get me some fish meat as well, just in case. Uh, and of course, if I've caught one, all the fishies are gone. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. I promise. Oh, no, no, fishy. <laughs> Give me your meat. <laughs> Alright, so we'll put a little bit of meat of both in there and we'll see which one it, eats, it prefers. And then we'll figure out what a coal eats. Because who knows what a coal eats? I mean, <laughs> it's funny. I wonder if it does a lot of damage. <laughs> we just set it on aggressive and let it go. That's fun. <laughs> wait, wait, can it follow? It? No, it can't. It, but it doesn't follow. Really? Oh, that's weak. Behavior. Uh. No, <laughs> it's got to look at ally. Oh, wait, okay, yeah. Behavior. Enable following. So, no, you can't make it follow. Can I put it on water? Naval wandering. Oh! Well, you do your thing, fishy. I hope you're happy. That's great. <laughs> uh, now we need to catch us a big fish. Like, I want a great big cold. <laughs> Supposedly, somewhere here, there's a, a, a high level something. Like, wait, what? Did my dude go off? Oh yeah, check this out, y'all. We got a helmet. And what's funny is you can put the bulb dog face on the bulb dog. It looks a little bit silly. Alright, well it's getting dark. 
That's fine. We got we got this. Alright. Throw that in the water and go. Whee! Flash. Oh, it's in my face. It's in my face. I want a big fish, y'all. Then we can go. <gasps> look at the green one. Oh, oh, look at the green. Look at the green. Look at the green. Six. Come here, big green fish. What are you? You're level 25. Level 25, what? 3x. Air. Eater. 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 Okay. Okay, go quick, 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 quick. Oh, it was right next to it. Ah. This is, this is like... Oh, it swam away. Can I pick this up? Oh, nope. Pick it up. Aha, we can pick it up. We're going to catch that green fish, y'all. I want a green fish. That's really annoying that it's right in my face. Alright, alright. He's... Why do you keep swimming away? 25-3. 25-3. Come here. Come on. Come on. 25-4. Neither, neither, neither. Go, 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 go. Of course, he swims near the tank. Oh. Okay, where's he at? He's way over there. Why are you so annoying? Everyone else is staying where they're at. Why you gotta swim away for? Oh gosh, I didn't get enough oxygen. All right, we're gonna try one more time, and then we're done. <laughs> Twenty-five three. Twenty-five three. He's not popping up at all. There it is. There it is. Got it. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 like like a grab machine, a claw machine at the arcade. That that's. I really don't like this thing in my face. That's amazing. I love it. It's awesome. It's so awesome. <laughs> uh. Uh. So stupid. <laughs> All right, let's release it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And release. Oh, he's beautiful. You. Hey. Right. You just don't do nothing. You, you're staying right there because you're green. And we're gonna come down and say hi to you ever so often. But before we do that, we need to get fish food. Let's actually let's go check this guy real quick. Surely he's eight now. I really don't like this big thing in my face. Uh, hmm. So maybe they don't actually need food, but I'm going to put meat on him anyway. Okay. Now the goal would to be to, t to just fill this entire pond up full. Wait, what? Is he following me? I think he actually is following me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say he's following me. That's kind of cool. They're following me. Yeah, there you go, y'all. Just in case you don't know. They do, in fact, follow you. Alright. I'll put some fish food on you, just in case you do need food. Alright, okay, okay. And we're done here. So, I'm going to go over here. And there was something I wanted to look at. We, I want to get a spino. I don't know if we're going to get into it today. But I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take a look around. And uh, we'll either go come back taming a spino or we're going to do something else. So I'll see y'all in just a moment. And there we go, you all. We tamed us up a level 100 Carno. I just thought I'd bring y'all back so you could see me tame it. And uh, he got absolutely thrashed, you all. Like, I don't know what was going on, but a scorpion of all things come down and started attacking. And I gotta be very careful. There is a level 125 and a level 100 and five, I think, in like a level 180, or I mean a, a level 80, over there, of Ravagers together, so I gotta be real careful of them. So we're gonna try to take this guy around this way, and hopefully dodge this level 70 Spino here I was looking at, which I didn't even know that one was there. Hmm, that's almost acceptable. I want a level 100 plus, but uh, I haven't seen any, and uh, I want y'all to know, if you travel down this river right here, there's two waterfalls past here, and uh, past the second one, it kind of turns into a big gorge, 
that runs the river down the middle of it. And oh my goodness, it is just an absolute nightmare of just baddies down there. Like everything under the sun. And I mean, there were sarcos, like 20 or 30 of them. <laughs> there were big old crabs, there were spinos, there were raptors, there were ravagers. It was a nightmare. We are not going back down there anytime soon, I don't think. Until I, unless I'm just happen to be cruising around the area and happen to spot a really high level spino. But uh, we're going to take this guy right back over to the base real quick. And uh, we're going to, I think, work on getting our greenhouse maybe set up. So we'll be back in just a minute. And we're back, y'all. Alright, so I got this guy's saddle made up. Let me check his stats real quick. 1,774 health, 930 stamina, 465 oxygen, 6,813 food, 396 weight. 214 melee and 108 movement speed. We're going to go ahead and throw one into that. And uh, you might be wondering, why did I bother with taming a Karno? Well, one, it's nice to have a, a backup meat eater. And two, that right there. He is literally nowhere near as high level as my Ravager. And yet, he is already doing almost as much damage. Like, no joke. <laughs> My Ravager only does around 86 points of damage per hit. And this dude is already at 80 right off the bat. I mean, you can't beat that. That is that is why. That's why I want to spine up. I need something that deals damage because I am having a serious issue with my uh, Ravager just being super underpowered. And it makes no sense. Is a, Actually, uh seen some video of other people playing and their ravagers were doing like hundreds of points of damage and I don't understand it because theirs were had you know were lower level than mine like I don't know what's going on there but uh that's why we did this and we are going to head right back to base I just wanted to bring this guy out a little bit and play around with him just for a minute let's get rid of that so we can do this attack Rawr. hit much yeah. Yeah. Uh, come on, Dodicarus. I know you're all balled up and you're nearly invincible, but we won't eat you. Almost, almost, yeah. And there's our level we wanted before we head back to base. Alright. But yeah, I just wanted this guy because I needed something to deal with damage, and... I, the only other thing, like... There's not a lot that I can tame yet that I can use for damage, like the Basilisk. It, I need eggs to tame that, and from what I understand, if I'm not using rock drake eggs, then I'm basically just wasting my time, and I mean, who's got rock drake eggs? I mean, I don't. So, I mean, <laughs> that's a little out of question, so that's not happening. And then, uh, what is that? Oh, is that my thing? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, it's just it's one of the things, and I, I can't, I don't know how to tame the cart, crack nose, or whatever it is, the crab. And uh, that's something I'm going to have to work on. We'll probably get into that eventually. Like I said, I have no idea how to tame that one, so I'm going to have to figure that one out. And a rock drake, I don't even know how I go about getting one of them eggs. Like, I was down in near the area where, like, not even, well, heck, honestly, I don't think I was even near their area. And it was already an absolute nightmare for my Ravager. So, I mean, I don't know what, like, I need something to do with damage, because this dude right here... No matter how awesome he is, he just is not doing the damage. Do you have anything on you I need to take in here and get rid of besides an absolute ton? I mean, a ton of mutton. <laughs> Alright, so anyways. Today, I think we're going to get into making the greenhouse. We're going to get it set up. I should already have the foundations made. Okay. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out here and try to figure out where we're going to put our greenhouse. Because I want to get that going, and I want to experiment with these new plants. And the question is, is do I want to build it out here freestanding, or do I want to attach it to my base? I think... Uh, I kind of wouldn't mind having it sitting out here. Like, right here somewhere. The water pipe is right there, so this would be the obvious choice. Would be to put it, like, right here. Hmm... Yeah, I think I'll, I think we'll do that. We'll put it near the water tap. That way, it's all right here together. And I think what we're going to actually do 
is I'm going to come out this way a little bit. That way I can still get straight to that water tap. And come down here. And put that one there. Now hopefully... Uh, not sure I like the placement on this. But it's okay. It's okay. So we got one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we got. Let's see. We got four primaries, four berries, and I want to grow several of those uh, um, big thing majiggers, whatever they're called, plant Z's. So, yeah. All right. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go. Oh, that. That's. Oh well, I'll have to fix that later on. We're gonna go. Actually, I think I'm gonna undo this. I think we're going to go. No, I like this. I think I like. I like. Yeah, I like this. We'll make some more later. I think I want to go three wide. Did I not place it there? I was afraid of that. All right, so we'll pick this one. Pick up. All right, so there we go. That works. We'll put a door up here. Yeah, I think I like that. I'm not real happy with this, but oh well, who cares? <laughs> who cares? So, we need to learn greenhouse. So I want the greenhouse ceiling, and I want the greenhouse wall. Yes, except that. And, okay. Back over here. Do, what do I need? I need metal ingots. And I think that's it. Okay, so. Dude. Greenhouse. Alright, so we need. I'm going to make one wall. And I want to focus on ceilings, so let's make all four ceilings. And then we need. Crop. Let's make. I got what? 12? Or. No. I got what? 10 foundations down, I think. So, let's go with nine. We'll go ahead and make up nine of those. And that way, where is my greenhouse at? There's those. Put those back. Where's the walls? Well, the ceilings, I mean. Oh, I already got a inventory, duh. <laughs> crop plot, crop plot, crop plot. Where are you at, crop plot? Oh, there you are. Alright, we're going to take four while the rest craft up. Nope, gotta shut my door. I did tame a dung beetle, by the way. I found it down there where we were at the other day. Like, literally, right, right after we uh, we went off the air, I turned around and found this thing. I was just like, wow, check it out. <laughs> and I just made one. I need two walls. Back on it. Alright, let's go back and get one more wall. We need one more wall. we got to make it too tall, that way we can walk around in there with no problem. Uh, and I just realized I sh probably going to have to redo all of this. So we're not going to actually plant anything today. <laughs> because I want to line it up with the water pipe, and I didn't do that. So yeah, that's my bad. So today was just planning. We'll get planning done. And that way, when we come back, we'll actually get our garden going. And I'll have it good and straightened, because I want to line it up with the water pipe, so that the water pipe runs nice and neat, because you know. Nice and neat. Wrong one. Alright, and you're probably wondering, why did I only make the walls? Well, from what I've seen, all you really need now to get the maximum greenhouse effect is ceilings. You don't actually need the walls anymore. And I'll show you real quick. We'll put down all of these. I love how the S plus one snap. It makes it put down this stuff so much easier. Alright, so as you see... Give it a second. Well, I guess you know what? Okay, yeah, see, this one's got full. Full. That one's got full. That one's got full. That one doesn't have any. Hmm. There we go. Full greenhouse effect. No walls. This way, we save on crystal for the moment. I'm going to fill, fill it in eventually, but this way we save resources. And, you know, we can get our stuff going. And, yeah, that way it's nice and pretty. But that's what I wanted to get done and. Basically, I'm just going to spend the next little while farming up resources to get this built and get it ready to go so that we can actually plant one of these Z plants and see what they do. But I think we are going to wrap it up there and kind of bring us today in a little bit short. 
But uh, that's all right. We've got what we wanted done. We played the fish plot. We went down and painted some carno, and we got our greenhouse going. So if you enjoyed this episode at all, if you learned anything, smack that thumbs up button. I appreciate it if you do. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this if you would so us can find it easier. If you comment below, let me know what you thought. If you would just say hi, whatever, you know, I'm easy. Remember, y'all, stay safe, have fun, and art is life.